Welcome back to the channel everyone. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a build video on a pretty pretty built WRX. Uh, he reached out to me via Instagram. Uh, let me just let me just pull up his Instagram real quick. But he reached out to me via Instagram. So um, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me at ABC Garage 19. Um, that's my at. There's no spaces, no underscores. But uh, here's the guy. Um, as you can see, his name is Pure Red Rex. Uh, he says it's pro tuned and full bolt on. And uh, yeah, he reached out to me saying that a lot of people um, ask about his car, and he's seen my videos, so he wanted to um, he wanted to collab. So I told him, why not? Just meet me here um, at this park that I usually meet at, and then we'll get the build video going. Um, on top of that, I'm gonna see if he wants to do like a quick run, maybe like a 45. Uh, because I have my GoPro, so we'll see if he wants to do that. If not, no big deal. Still going to be a dope video. But like I said, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Please focus. Yep, ABC Garage 19. So I'm just waiting on him now. Uh, he's about 10 minutes out, so it'll be fun. Just pulled up. Car definitely looks really good. My name is Carlos. This is my 2018 WRX, and she's known as Pure Red Rex on Instagram. There wasn't really like a, a real reason as to picking this build, but I knew that the chassis, like when it came out, the 15 plus, the VA chassis, that one I like, to be honest with you, like the older versions, they're cool, but when this one came out, I was like, well, it just, it, it looks to me more aggressive. Well, we'll start with the hood. I don't know if you noticed, but most SUVs, they have a hood scoop, like going in, push air in through the front, to, through the top mount and this has two reverse um, heat extractor vents. So it's not a common hood. From here we have the Mishimoto front mount intercooler, Mishimoto oil cooler stacked on top of each other. Uh, right in front, it's a carbon grill, two carbon lips. The fog light bezels, but it deletes the fog light, so it just has like three, three bars. The turn signal's right here. Subi Speed V1, uh, Euro headlights, APR, carbon canards. And I mean, you can obviously tell it's flared. So the flares are the HT Auto fender flares. It is cut and sealed um, the right way how it's supposed to be. Mainly what everyone wants to see, right? So what's, what's down here? Yeah, so basically everything is touched. Um, the only thing that's still stock is the turbo. But besides that, I mean, every, every part is, uh, is touched. So Mishimoto front mount, oil cooler, we have all parent bracing, Cusco master cylinder. I run dual radium catch cans instead of an AOS. I don't daily the car, so catch cans is way better if you have an AOS. It's gonna sit for five, six days. So the oil that's in those hoses, it could get like milky. So if you don't daily the car, just run catch cans. It's a little bit more maintenance. You know, when you change your oil, you gotta dump them, but just don't be lazy. It's, it's It doesn't take that long. It's like a few minutes. Uh, I run MA Performance intake, MA Performance J-pipe. My full exhaust is MAP, besides the axle back, that's PLM. Coil rad radiator. And then these two pieces are really cool. They're from Charge Speed. It's a Japanese brand. So it's the intake cover, coolant plate. Uh, nameless front strut bar and also I actually run my hella horns right here mounted up to the the coilover strut if you notice most people they'll run them up here so they always have their hella horns right here but since I have already so much so much shit going on in the front if I throw the two hella horns there it would just be like so crowded so I've just extended the harness made my own harness and then mounted them up there you can still hear it and I think it's pretty loud. We run flex fuel, so I'm on an E50 blend. So this is hooked up right here. That's the Cobb flex fuel kit. I run E50, you can run E60, but at that point, the high pressure fuel pump, it starts to give you, it can give you problems once you hit like E60, E65, you have oscillations to where it'll just start like sputtering. You gotta go and put like Pure 91 in it. So uh, my tuner, uh, Fat Body, Fat Body Tuning, Rob Watson, he, uh, he told me I'm not gonna get much power from running like a E50 to E60 blend, like the extra 10. I'm basically maxed out power-wise where I wanna be, where it's still safe. 
so e50 for me is the way to go as long as i get like e53 e54 anything above e50 i'm in full power at that point uh, these parts carbon red carbon hood dampeners fender shrouds fuse box cover if you could tell already i mean basically addicted to carbon bro it's it's really bad a few shout outs to these companies that are supporting the build they've always been involved jd muscle usa 99% of my carbon is uh, all from them. Uh, 365 Performance Plus and Pomona, they've also been with the build since day one. And Bulletproof Coatings, they powder coat all of my shit. Like all of it is powder coated by Bulletproof. None of this comes in white. So all the bracing, the coolant, like everything, he's powder coated. There's the next brace in the trunk, I'll show you in a little bit. And also Fat Body Tuning, Ron Watson. He's my tuner, he's the GOAT for this engine car's been running great and I push it like a lot so suspension wise we're running reaction reaction USA coilovers I'm on 12k spring so it's it's really stiff you know but I have to run it because if I have some really soft suspension uh, when the when the suspension compresses I could rub against this and if it bottoms out possibly like rip the flare off so 12k springs it, it's pretty stiff in there. It's pretty bouncy. Um, Advance, Ron Advance TC4s, 18 by 10 and a half plus 15 with a two millimeter spacer, uh, wrapped in some Firehawks Indy 500s, 275, 35, 18. We got real carbon uh, visors, molding, all the tramming, basically all of this, bro. Everything on the car is real carbon. It doesn't come with any carbon like when you first pick it up so everything is all real carbon it's not dipped it's not wrap it's all real three pieces down on the side skirts the fender the mirrors the the base of the mirrors a lot of people get the like the full mirror here but I feel like for me it was too much carbon like there's nothing breaking it up so if I stand back and look it was just like the mirrors kind of missing if you just do like all carbon so instead of getting the caps up here i just went with the base carbon instagram handle uh fuel cap these are jdm splash guards and then this is like a, a various uh i guess like extension rally armor mud flaps a lot of this is going to be coming off pretty soon though uh carbon vortex generator window visor and then one of my favorite pieces is the Cybon carbon trunk. The duck bill. This backing is by APR. Uh, carbon right here too. The third brake light. We have an HT Autos uh, diffuser that's paint matched. The parent tow hook. Uh, carbon heat shields on the exhaust. And then this is a PLM uh, axle back. Also the Subi Speed. Uh, V2, they're like the V2 uh, tail lights. Yeah. They're discontinued at this point now because these are, uh, they're white, has a white bar and they're smoked, so now you can only buy the ones that have like the red bar on them. On the trunk, there's not that, well, there's nothing really, but I do have a Cusco X brace that's paint matched. Nice. Yeah. And also, took out the back seats, you can see, you can look through it. Just the rears, those are the ones that are heavy. The, like the butt part of the seats weighs like five pounds. So really there's, I didn't see any gain in, uh, in taking those out. Besides the reaction coilovers, um, I do have the DBA slider rotors and Project Kicks lug nuts. Underneath the car, we have wide line sway bars, parent end links, ISC rear lower control arms. And I also have the uh, parent transmission mount and the Cusco differential mount. Honestly, those two, um, those two mounts made like a huge difference when you pair them together. Normally, when I was driving around, like first gear around a parking lot, it was doing like a lot of shaking, you know? It's kind of like bouncy, like back and forth. As soon as I installed the trans mount and the diff mount, all of that went away, man. I could be like three miles per hour in a parking lot and it doesn't like shake at all. It stiffened it up a lot. To me, for the money, it's, it's, one of the mods that made like the driving experience so much better. Now we're gonna move into the interior. To me, it's like one of the most important parts. It's the parts of the car that I see the most when you know, you're driving the car. So I have carbon uh, door cards, window switches, uh, A pillars, B pillars, 
the cluster, steering wheel, steering column, steering wheel buttons, the AC vents. Then we'll go over here. Uh, we also have the boost gauge cover, AC, um, more AC vents, the shifter trim, kick panels, e-brake boot, e-brakes, and then also the, uh, the armrest. Most of these are full replacements. Like these are not covers. This is not a cover. This is not a cover. This is not a cover. Most of them are full replacements. Uh, future plans is coming up in like two weeks. So I actually got a, a Fenderist wide body kit. So it's not gonna be flared no more. I had it flared for like a little over a year, maybe two. But it's a it's a big it's a big step. I'm hyped for it. You know, it's a wide body. It's not your typical kid. I think right now there's like one person in the US with it, one in Malaysia. It's a new company. Check them out. It's at, a, at Fenderist on Instagram. And I'm gonna take it over to the boys at West Jones Auto. They actually did my flares and they're gonna do the wide body kit too. That's one of the few things that, that I take it to the shop for. 99% of everything is installed. Um, I install everything. You know in the garage i never take it to a shop but for body work it has to go you know it has to get painted it has to get bolted so i'm gonna drop it off march 7th and hopefully pick it up in like three or four weeks so i'm about to run the homies wrx um it is pro tuned it is it is pretty uh modified um uh he says his estimation is about 370 wheel so with that being said i'm probably gonna get walked but um the good thing though is we're running a 45 which is favorable for me not too favorable for him because he's still not at peak boost peak boost he's saying is about a thousand rpm um above that but uh for me 45 and second gear um that's vtech already so maybe in the beginning i will like uh maybe pull away a slight bit but he's gonna catch me and then he's gonna pass me so i'm just gonna try to just basically this runs for fun and just to see where the car is before we do like really ser serious um head work and cams but um yeah just gonna try to do a 45 um, and then after that we're done with the video so make sure to check him out his uh, ad is pure red rex and um, I'm gonna have all the information in the link the description below but uh, yeah we're gonna get into the runs so both of our cars are pretty loud and we don't want to have too much we don't want to attract attract too much attention so we're actually gonna go um, we're gonna go on two honks so he's gonna honk once and then the second honk we're going so it's not because we're jumping it's just that both of our cars are really loud and we don't want to alert the whole vicinity of the area that we're racing so it's going to be a one two go type of thing or a one two a one two and on second you, you go so just fyi just so that you guys aren't saying that one of us jumped or something <laughs> like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next upload